Hi, I'm Erica from America, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the test. Uh, basically, I originally thought this would be really easy that you would find a video and you would post it to my blog, but it turns out as I was putting the test together, I realized that what I originally hoped was not possible. So instead, what this is, is you're going to have to create a playlist with Daily Motion, and once you have a playlist, then you post the playlist to the blog. Um, watch the video, see if this is something you can do. If you can't do it, let me know right away. And I will take your name off the list, but I will keep you in mind for future projects. Um, it is a little bit more complicated, but it's still, I think it's easy. You might not. Like I said, let me know. Um, and if you have any problems, again, let me know. Please make sure to do your best because you are putting this on my real blog. And I would hate to have to delete any work that you've done. So, here we go. I'm going to show you how to do a playlist. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to open four things. The first thing you're going to open is the HTML coding sheet, which I will have sent to you separately. Um, the next thing you're going to open is episodes to post. Okay, this one is what I'm going to be working on right now to the beautiful you. There are 16 episodes, and these are the categories I'm going to be posting it to, and the keywords. The next thing you want to open is two windows. One is your daily motion. And I'm going to be doing to the Beautiful You episode two. Uh, the next is you're going to log into my website, allaboutkoreandramas.com. Um, your password will have come separately, so log in. And you're going to go to posts, add a new post, so that you get to this sheet here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the title to the Beautiful You episode two. I want the title in all caps, the capital letters. I want the E in a capital letter as well, but the rest of it is going to be small. Once you've done this and you've tabbed down here, then your permalink will show up and it'll say to the Beautiful You Episode 2 or whatever your TV series is. And you notice there's a dash between each word and Episode 2. Uh, if you need to change it, you would click Edit. For now, we're going to go ahead and leave that. So, we've got to the Beautiful You. This is now ready to go. We're going to click the HTML screen because we're going to be adding HTML instead of the visual. Now we're going to go over to Daily Motion. I went ahead and I put into the Beautiful You English Subtitles, Episode 1, and this gives me a list. Now from this list, you can see there's a time slot in each corner. Now this time slot, this is 15 minutes. You need to make sure you find a time slot that's at least 10 to 15 minutes, or 16, 17. Um, but don't go for 16 second ones because that's just a commercial to go somewhere else. Okay? So that's important to look for. You might see some from Hulu, that say by Hulu here. Um, that generally means that, well, Hulu has basically done a lot of one hour videos, but they won't let anybody post their videos. So just ignore the Hulu ones. You're going to look for anybody else that's posted them. They often put the title, they put the episode, and they put the part one, part two, part three, part four. Um, and they'll put ENG if there's English subtitles. You may want to open it and watch it just to make sure the English subtitles are there. Here we go, here's episode 2 part 1 and I'm gonna have to find the other parts of this as well. I've noticed that this person has posted it and they've posted a lot of them. So a lot of times you may find it's easier to actually go to their page and look for the episode because a lot of times these people will have put them on in order and they'll have all of the episodes so it's easier than looking everywhere. Okay, so I'm coming down here. I'm going to click all videos. See, there's the To the Beautiful You, episode 10, episode 11. Again, she's got them in order, and now I've clicked all of the videos. So let's see, episode 11, part 4, part 3, part 2, part 1, episode 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really nice. I come down here, I'm going to see if I can find her episode 2 in the four different parts. So, three, one more. And I don't know if you noticed, but I had just passed. Episode four was on the previous page. I'm going to start here, though. One, two, three, and then four was on the other page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the episode title, and I'm going to go to Copy Link Address. This is going to save me time. Okay? Then I'm going to switch to my Edits to Post page, and I'm going to paste it. I just did a Control-V to paste. It's a shortcut. Right after video here, there's a six-digit code, and you'll notice it's before the title, too. 
This six digit code is the code that the jukebox uses in order to create a playlist. So I want this six digits and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select just the six digits and I'm going to copy it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my HTML coding page and here we go. Here's the vids and here are the six digit codes. One, two, three, four of them. There's no space before the first one but there is a space between each video. There's a space here even though you can't see it and then there's no space between the last one and the and sign. That's important. Make sure that you don't have a space between the vids slash or between the last letter and the and sign. Okay? So here's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Now I've got to make sure there's a space there and there is. And you notice the space just appeared there which I don't want so I delete that out. And I've just put in episode one. Now I come back to my videos. I do episode two. Copy the link address. Go to my episodes to post. Paste it. Control V does the quick paste. Select. If you double click, it'll usually select just the six. I press Control C to copy. Come over here. Double click that. Control V to paste. Took out the space. I put the space back in. Make sure that this is again only one space. And that's one space. Otherwise, it would go on the other side of the X. That one's done. Now we're going to the third one. And I'm going to copy the link address. I'll go back to my episodes to post. And as you can see here, episode 2, part 1, episode 2, part 2, episode 2, part 3. So I know I'm doing this in order. I'm going to copy this. HTML coding. Got that highlighted already. Pasted it. Make sure the space is still there. It is. Again, it would be on this side if it wasn't. And I'm going to highlight this last one. Go back here. Press back because we know that the fourth one was on this page. There it is. Copy the link address. Back to here. Here's my code. Copy it. This is highlighted. Control V to paste. It just put an extra space in because notice it went from here when it should have been down here. That means there's an extra space. So we need to delete that space. So it'll go back down. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, all four have been redone. I'll turn green now just so you can see that I'm done with those. See? That was easy. I've just changed this playlist. But I'm not finished with this project yet. I'm going to come down here and you're going to see that these are highlighted as well. Now this is a test show. I want to change this test show name to the beautiful you episode one because that was the episode before it. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it there to the beautiful you episode three which is the next episode. And you'll see that here, previous episodes, this is a button that says previous episodes, this is a button that says next episode. The one before episode two is obviously number one. The one before episode three, or after episode two, is obviously number three. Uh, for the episode one, you would get rid of previous episodes when you're creating episode one because there is no episode one. And for the last episode, you're going to get rid of this last one because there will be no episode after the last episode. Once you put this in, make sure there are no spaces here, so there's a space there. Once you put that in, you shouldn't have to change it again. You just have to change it the first time. That way you can just copy this whole page. And that's it. I've completely altered this whole HTML for this particular video, and it's ready to go in. So I'm going to press Control a to copy, to select it all, then Control c in order to copy it. Once I've copied it, I'm going to come over here to my post, make sure I'm on the HTML page, put my little blinker here, and press Control v to paste it. And now it is all in. And if I want to see what this is going to look like, I will now click on the visual tab. And there it is. There's my text. Scroll down, here's where the jukebox box would be. I'm down a little farther. Here's my previous and my next button. Again, if this is episode one, I would click on this and I would hit delete to get rid of the previous episode. Or if it's the last episode, I would click next episode and I would hit delete again. That's it. Just for the first and last episode, those are the only two that you have to do that for. Okay, 
And now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick my TV genres, comedy, romance, romantic comedy. That is here. Romance, romantic comedy, comedy. And I'm going to highlight all my keywords. Okay, so just highlight it. Control C. Come back over here. Paste into here. Control V to paste. Click add. And they will all appear down here. Once you've got all that, this is a page I'm actually updating it, but this would say publish. So the first time you do it, you would just click publish. Once it's published, it'll say update instead. Uh, once you've hit that, the page will blank out to alter any changes, and a view post button will show up. Go ahead and click the view post so you can see what this looks like. Okay, and now this page is loaded. Come down here, and it's automatically starting already. So, I'm going to take this off. It's on mute right now. And you can see, it just starts. As you can see, it just starts up, and it, here's the first one, second, third, and fourth, and each one will just play automatically when the next one is done. Here's our previous buttons and our next buttons. And that's it. That's all you need to do to create a post.